Edible undies. They don't taste very good, and they don't function very well as actual undies. Most importantly, all undies are edible undies if you know how to cook them. That's why we've got three professional chefs ready for a cook-off with a very special ingredient. Hint, it's regular undies. My name is Tyler Cord, and I am the chef at Number 7 Restaurant and Number 7 Sub. Hey, what's up? My name is Jeremy Parker. I have cooked in so many restaurants in New York City. I'm Allison Robicelli. I'm Matt Robicelli. We own Robicelli's Bakery out in Bay Ridge, Brooklyn. Judging today's challenge will be myself, professional food writer Chris Thornton, and a freak we found on Craigslist. Our chefs will have 30 minutes to turn these undies into edible undies. All right, chefs. Ready, set. Cook undies. I see some underwear getting cut up, presumably to make it more digestible. As one of the judges, I very much appreciate that. I'm concerned about the elasticity, the elastic, the synthetic portion that's always in underwear. That's gonna be the real challenge here. I'm gonna make General Tso's underwear. Hopefully, if I fry the underwear enough, it could be somewhat palatable. If there's any way that you're going to be able to make underwear edible, you're going to have to deep fry it. That's the only thing that will make the worst food taste great. Jeremy, yours is all deep fried? The first fry is complete. I'm going to do a double fry. Oh, yeah. a double fry. Now, what does that mean? What does that add to it? I figure the more fry, the better. Today, I'm going to be doing a Vietnamese cabbage salad with fried underpants. Uh, Marcus, how are you doing? It's fun. Great. My name is Marcus, and I like to eat underwear. I saw an ad on Craigslist uh, for an opportunity to eat some underwear. I'm excited to see uh, what some of these chefs do uh, with the underwear. I don't always wear this mask, but you guys said I could, and I prefer to. We're planning to make a sangria-type fruit, fruit salad. Fruit sort of thing. thing. It's like something. It involves fruit. It involves fruit and, and underwear. underwear. My big concern is, how are we respecting the ingredient that's in front of us? My mouth is really watering. I'm really, really excited to eat some of this. It looks like it could be deep-fried tofu or calamari, something like that, like anything white, basically. All right, things are really getting exciting over here. The chefs are getting ready to plate the food, so I'm going to hop on over in my judge's seat and get ready to eat. All right, guys, down to the wire. You got 10 seconds left. 10 seconds, 10 seconds. OK, guys, and time's up. General says underwear. Vietnamese cabbage salad with local underwear. This is our celebration of uh, the bounty of summer. This is the birth of America, so. I think you all did a great job with presentation. These two in particular, to me, I wouldn't question. If somebody brought them out, I would see those as delicious meals and I would go dig right in. This one I might question specifically, is this meal in a bunch of underwear? Judges, uh, what do you think? Thank you, this is really beautiful. It's, it's impressive. Marcus, what do you think of all this? I'm ready to eat. All right, guys, let's dig in. I'm super pleasantly surprised. So the spiciness kind of distracts me from remembering that I'm eating underwear. Okay, so first I get a lot of chew. The problem is there's underwear, and I know that. No, oh, there's underwear in here. Yeah, uh, there's there's definitely underwear in there. It's going down. It's right here right now. Okay. Let's move on to Chef Jeremy's dish, and here we have um, our cabbage salad with double deep fried underwear. I could use some more salt here. Yeah, I was really trying to respect the underwear. I didn't want to overwhelm the dish with too much herbs or salts. The fork went right through the underwear, so that is a big difference already. The last one, I had to spoon it in. The crispiness is a little bit misleading. 
because it's crispy only for that very thin flaky layer. And then underneath is underwear that feels very easy to choke on. I dig the flavors, I dig the Vietnamese aspect. I can really feel the underwear um, in my throat and mouth. Okay, so we're on the final dish. What do you call this? The birth of America. Got it. He wasn't supposed to bite through it. Well, no, in Ethiopia, what you do is you, you grab it up and then you just shove the you whole use, thing in your mouth. You're supposed to kind of use your teeth. There's that caramelized butter and you're supposed to kind of like scrape it off, kind of like eating an artichoke. This is wonderful. Thank you. Thank you. Mm. I gotta say, that's good. I'm not finding this to be too sweet. Mm -hmm. That's delicious. I conferred with the judges, and since no dish was digestible, our winner, based on taste alone, is The Birth of America by Allison and Matt Robicelli. Congratulations, guys. Thank, Thank you. you. Can I leave? I mean, why, you made underwear edible. You did a pretty good job, man. You should feel good about yourself. I thought it was great. That's to be expected. For more UCB1 videos, click on me. To subscribe, click on the right. For other teams, click below. Bon appetit.